We're glad you joined us. This is the mind training practice of A Course in Miracles that uh, shows you uh, the certainty that you can evolve through a continuing practice, a realization of your own perfection. I'm called an advanced teacher because in a continuing fashion, I realize more and more the certainty that I share the love of God with you. And if you're willing to share it with me, we can begin to practice the idea that there's a whole and complete alternative to uh, what we have done before. And in that certainty, we will discover that we carry this message out to the world. If we look back at uh, Lesson 153, we see that it said, if I don't defend myself, if I don't insist on being a human being in this world, I can begin to have an experience of a true association in a variant continuum of time that has always been with me. Okay? In 154, I had to accept the idea of being a minister, to administer to the world in the certainty of the discovery of who I am, a demonstration of the joy that I now share in the realization of uh, my own Christhood, my own responsibility to uh, represent to the world my own certainty, since the world previously was representing my own uncertainty based on my determination to project it from my mind and therefore facilitate the idea that I could not know who I was or where I came from. Okay? So in the expression of the evolved certainty of myself, I now represent the certainty that I can take that to the world. Let's go back and look just for a moment at the finality to Lesson 154 that indicates the necessity for your ministry. Listen. You who are now the messengers of God receive his messages, for that is part of your appointed role. God has not failed to offer what you need, nor has it been left unaccepted. Yet another part of your appointed task is yet to be accomplished. He who has received for you the messages of God would have them be received by you as well, for thus do you identify with him and claim your own. It is this joining that we undertake to recognize today. We will not seek to keep our minds apart from him who speaks for us, for it was but our voice we hear as we attend him. He alone can speak to us and for us, joining in one voice the getting and the giving of God's word, the giving and receiving of his will. Let us but learn this lesson for today. We will not recognize what we receive until we give it. You have heard this said a hundred ways and a hundred times, and yet belief is still lacking. But this is sure. Until belief is given it, you will receive a thousand miracles and then receive a thousand more, but will not know that God himself has left no gift beyond what you already have nor has denied the tiniest of blessings to his son. What can this mean to you until you have identified with him and with his own? Our lesson for today is but this. I am among the ministers of God, and I am grateful that I have the means by which to recognize that I am free. The world recedes as we light up our minds and realize these holy words are true. They are the message sent to us today from our Creator. Now we demonstrate how they have changed our minds about ourselves and what our function is. For as we prove that we accept no will we do not share, our many gifts from our Creator will spring to our sight and leap into our hands and we will recognize what we receive. So the idea that uh, you have become a minister of this teaching of love has become uh, very important to you. I'd like to take uh, this lesson 
this lesson 155 with you on this video or perhaps watching it on the television set offer to you my certainty that if you continue to practice within your own mind the complete alternative that you are discovering within the factor of yourself, that the joy and peace that you are beginning to experience can be carried around in the world. And the surprise that's going to happen to you, and I want you to accept this from me, is the certainty of the self that you have found was always deep within you. What you've learned in this miracle procedure is what you presented to the world was not true. You already knew this. What you have learned through the practice of this idea of an alternative contained within you, that the you that you identified within yourself and pretended to offer to the world was also not true. The fundamental teaching that I am offering you within your own conceptual self at this time is this certainty. The uncertainty that you have felt about who you are in your own mind has been projected onto the world and shared by other uncertainties within their conceptual self. And they have used the demonstration of the pitiful littleness of their conceptual ideas about themselves to hold themselves in a fostering of pain and death that represent the temporal idea that they are separate from what everything is. The discovery of self-realization that you are having at this moment in your own mind obviously cannot be described perceptually to the world because the description of your perceptual association with yourself is what the falsity was. But once that begins to happen, that Christhood, this is the fundamental teachings of Jesus, the necessity for you to be born again, the realization that emerging in you at this time and place is a brand new you. Is it different from the conceptual self that you previously identified yourself? It's so different that no recognition of an alternative of what you used to be will be contained within your own mind. Rather, it will be an involvement of a self-certainty that is going to show you at any moment the total unreality of this world. That's the discovery that you will momentarily carry around with you, the realization of the illumination of your own mind. Okay. Remember that this world was over a long time ago. There is no world. It disappeared in the instant of the momentary illusion of the possibility of its reality. So if you've been caring about in your own mind, you're now realizing in the certainty of self that has evolved in your illumination that in a literal sense there is no world. Let's look for just a moment at this lesson of stepping back for a moment and beginning to enjoy what's actually happening to you right now. Listen. There is a way of living in the world that is not here, although it seems to be. You do not change appearance, though you smile more frequently. Your forehead is serene. Your eyes are quiet. And the ones who walk the world as you do recognize their own. Yet those who have not yet perceived the way will recognize you also and believe that you are like them as you were before. The world is an illusion. Those who choose to come to it are seeking for a place where they can be illusions and avoid their own reality. Yet when they find their own reality is even here, then they step back and let it lead the way. What other choice is really theirs to make? To let illusions walk ahead of truth is madness, but to let illusions sink beneath the truth and let the truth stand forth as what it is, is merely sanity. This is the simple choice we make today. 
The mad illusion will remain a while in evidence for those to look upon who choose to come and have not yet rejoiced to find they were mistaken in their choice. They cannot learn directly from the truth because they have denied that it is so. And so they need a teacher who perceives their madness, but who still can look beyond illusions to the simple truth in them. And this is the responsibility that you have accepted.